Was your 2021 like this? Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it didn't happen the way you wanted it to, but it was still good, right? All right. So sometimes I think of random things and uh, then you just put it on a video. And sometimes you think of random things and they just don't get put in a video, they just stay in your brain. I think of random things pretty much throughout the day, so it basically never turns off, except when I have to think of, I have to use my brain for actual academic stuff, then my brain's pretty tired because I've spent the whole day thinking about different stuff. And it's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. Um, I feel like I remember stuff pretty much like other people. <clears throat> I don't really remember things if they're not important. However, if they're attached to something emotional, then you'll remember. You'll remember forever. It's kind of like when you buy an expensive item, you're going to like that item for a short period of time. And then the satisfaction is all gone. However, if you spent, so for example, we said you spent 3,000 bucks on an Hermes bag, and you'd feel super happy, you'd be blinging, you'd be showing it off. Then after a few months, you'd be like, you know what, who cares? But that, uh, that trip to Bali, that you spent the same amount of money on would be awesome, and you'd remember it forever, probably to the end of your life, right? So that's basically how I remember stuff too. <coughs> um, so it more, I think a little bit more extreme than others because it's really entrenched. It's like if there's some kind of emotional attachment to it, then the memory would be really, really like bolted in there forever, which is good and bad because if the experience was good, then it's gonna be awesome. However, if it's bad, then it's not gonna be that good. Hey, look. It's got this uh, communal public library. <coughs> Let's see what we've got in there. All right, see that? It said uh, Harlan Coben Wynn. Looks like a good one. Some really nice, good condition books in there. How about, this one looks good. The Reboot. Reboot with Juice Diet. <coughs> Not gonna borrow any books at the moment, but uh, who knows, in the future. If you want some more random thoughts? Stay tuned. We're gonna need some more energy. <laughs> <laughs> When I see that flip-flop, I think about Kung Fu Hustle. And this uh, grandma, she's like kicking the guy in the face. Okay, let's take a look at this, at this oven. Okay, I'm gonna open this thing. This thing's so heavy on the door. I don't, what's this? I don't know. What is this? Huh? What's this? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. What? <laughs> <laughs> we just don't open it, so actually I don't know. Why do they have it? Okay. CP, we gotta check the brand. Okay, look at this thing. Look at the dial on there. So oily. If if uh, you get excited, does the tail go up? 
<laughs> All right, guys, let's take a look at the bridge. Saturday, where's everybody going? Okay, so I heard a story of, I'm sure it's happened more than once, but there's this dude, this uh, old guy, and after he retired, he felt like there was nothing to do. And he felt like there was no point and there was like no ambition left in his life. So what he would do is, since he'd been doing, since he'd been driving to work for like, what, 35 years in a row, what he would do is, even though he was retired, he would wake up early in the morning, eat breakfast, get dressed, um, get in his car, and drive to work, even though he was retired. Okay, so we're here at this beautiful baseball field in Arlington, Texas. And here's Ryan. He's gonna set up the cardboard like that. And the competition is, the first person to hit that tiny ass piece of cardboard will win. Hey Ryan, what's the prize for the winner? How about a coffee? Yes, yes, a coffee. Okay, so if I win... It's not any coffee, a okay. Starbucks. A Starbucks, is that a, a, a grande? No coffee. Okay. That's pretty small. Uh, probably like 10 inches? Yeah. It, it, 10 inches, right? Yeah. 10 inches by 2 inches. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ryan, you're first. How far? Uh, let's try to measure it like a real pitcher. And you gotta have some zip on it. No, no softballs, no lobs. It's gotta be whipped. Is it pitching? Pitching? Yes. Pitching. Pitching. I want to see Chris Sale, Roger Clemens. What about right behind these wings right here? Is that good? good okay, we'll put it right here. Good distance. Actually, that's quite far. But let's see if Ryan connects on this. A close up. Okay, don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Go! Actually, that was pretty close. My turn. So maybe 2021 didn't end up the way you wanted it to. But that doesn't mean 2022 has to be the same way, right?